A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi, my name is Oris, and I'm learning how to use Unity again. The last time I used Unity to make a serious project was back in 2020, during the height of the COVID quarantine. Back then, I was able to produce my first and only game. It's called A Wizard's Tale, a game where you play as a wizard who must defend a small city from oncoming enemies that only magic can disperse. I never published it though, but this is how it looks. I know it looks crap, but the moment I finished this game, I felt happy and hopeful like there's a chance I could really make something out of this. So right now, in order to create my dream game, I must take a series of steps which will bring me closer to my goal. And the first step is to create something small. It's what all the pros say, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'll start prototyping small games, but each game will have a game mechanic that I will use later when I am ready to build the dream game that I have in mind. Right now I have very little experience in making games, so I'll start the only way I know, just like how I did A Wizard's Tale. First, I'm gonna draw the scene in my head onto the canvas and then I'll make them move in unity and then the rest will follow. This game will be very similar to a wizard's tale except this time the wizard will have companions. The mechanics are simple. The player must defend the castle with the help of one wizard and five knights. The enemies will come in waves and in each wave there is one boss who summons the basic enemies who will rush towards the castle. In order to defeat each wave, the boss must be killed, and it can only be killed by the wizard. So the knights must defend the wizard until he gathers sufficient energy to cast a spell on the boss. And that's about it. It's going to be a multitasking defend the base game. Not sure if it's going to be a fun to play game, but we'll see. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.